Now that we have our comments list layout, list item layout created, we're going to start building the list adapter class in this one and also create our new comment model. So let's go into the project pane and let's close layout view comment and close view comments fragment two and right click on models, go to new and new Java class and let's type comment. And so let's create all the fields that we need for comments. The first thing is obviously the comment itself and second is going to be the user ID. Then we just have a list of likes because the comments are also going to have likes themselves. And actually, I think that's it. Oh, timestamp, private string date created. And that'll be it. So then alt insert the default constructor and highlight everything. Get in the constructor that takes no arguments. And I'm actually going to paste this above there. And then alt insert the getter and setter methods and scroll down alt insert the to string method and we're good so there is our comments class now we are going to create our comments list adapter and that's going to be the class that's responsible for adapting all of the comments that are going to be displayed in this big thread verse uh, of comments so let's go into the utils package and go to new java class comment list adapter is what we'll call it and it's going to extend array adapter array adapter and we're going to take a comment object it's telling me that I need to insert the comment object and then we are going to implement the default constructor and I'm just going to take the second one here that takes the context the resource and then the list of objects and let's close the project pane so we actually have some space here and get some more space down at the bottom and okay let's put a tag up top here okay let's create all of our global variables that we're going to need the first one's going to be a layout infl not layout compact inflator just the layout inflator and just call it m layout inflator and then we're going to need of course our list of comp actually we don't need the list of comments because it will be passed through the class itself because we're extending array adapter and we need the, the resource so layout resource resource if I could spell and do we need the context I don't even think we we might need the context let's get the context okay now let's go down into our constructor here and we can do m inflator equals layout inflator context dot get system service and just do context dot layout inflator service and we can do context equals context and let's see layout resource equals resource and that should be good so now down below here I'm going to create our view holder since we're going to use the view holder build pattern for our list view so public or private static class uh, view holder and so we're going to use this basically instead of using a recycler view they essentially do the same thing they load widgets into memory instead of trying to load them all at once so uh, it's just another way basically to do kind of like a recycler view build pattern but without actually having to use a recycler view because re recycler views require a ton more code and right now i'm just getting all of the parameters that are going to be displayed in each comment so we got the timestamp and we don't need a progress bar. So uh, we need a button to for a reply. And also, or not a button, uh, it's another text, another text here for a reply. And also, I guess I could have actually written all of these together. username, timestamp, reply, and then also there should be likes, because that's going to display the number of likes. So we just have our image, we have comment, username, timestamp, reply, which is going to be that reply button to actually leave a reply to a certain comment, something to display the number of likes, and then we also need something, there's going to be that like image view. So let's go down and do image view like. And that's going to be that little our heart image view for, to, for displaying the like. Now we can go down and press 
control O and get the get view method. So there it is right there, get view. And we can delete the super, we don't need that. We're actually just gonna return convert view. And the first thing we want to do is get our view holder, so view holder, view holder, and if convert view equals null, then we know we have a new view, so view equals m inflator dot inflate and the, pass the layout resource and parent and false and then holder equals new view holder and for those of you who don't know this is what's known as the view holder build pattern and let's do all of our widgets here so convert view dot find by dr dot id dot comment and I'm just going to copy this because it's basically going to be the same thing for a whole bunch of this. So let's see, we have username, and this is going to be comment, username, timestamp, apply. Yeah, so that would be good. And so this one will be comment, time posted. This one's going to be comment, reply. And let's scroll down a little bit here and the, the next one will be that image view widget whoops uh that'll be like equals image view convert view find your id r to id dot comment comment like and then finally the circle image view so profile image equals circle image view convert view find your id r to id dot comment is comment profile image cool so there is all of our view holder widgets and then we can just do our else statement so if it's not null then holder equals view holder convert view get tag and so the get tag and actually I forgot to set the tag so up in here we have to do convert view dot set tag not set visibility set tag to the holder. So what this does is it creates the widgets, stores them in memory, stores the view in memory using the set tag method, and then if the view is not null, then it retrieves the, the view doing this right here. So that's how the view holder build pattern works. Okay, so now let's actually start setting those widgets. So con uh, holder.comment and then do set text and what we want to do is get item to get the array list item that we're working with right now and then just do get comment and for the next one let's get the timestamp difference so for this one we can do set the comment and then now we'll do set the timestamp difference and I believe we have another method in another class for actually getting the timestamp difference and that should be in our view post fragment and I believe there should be one of those. Yeah, so get timestamp difference. Let's actually search for that method. And we're just gonna highlight the whole thing and copy it and go back to our comments list adapter and post that down here. So now we have that same sort of thing here. But instead of M photo, this is where we're gonna actually use the comment. So we're gonna pass a comment in here. And instead of using the photo, we just want to use the comment. And so this is going to return that timestamp difference the same way as we were doing in the view post fragment. So now let's go up here and we're going to use that method to set the time difference. So string timestamp difference equals get timestamp difference and then get item and get position to refer to the list item that we're working with. And we can say if the timestamp difference dot if it doesn't equal zero then we know we actually have something and we can do holder dot timestamp dot set text to timestamp difference and just going to do a d because if we look at the instagram uh, all it actually does is append a d for if it's like one day ago two days ago or whatever so we're just going to append a d just like that and then we'll do else holder dot timestamp set text to, uh, I don't know, to say today. And it will just display as the comment was posted today. Now we'll set the username. So folder username set text to get item position get. Oh, we can't get the username because it's not stored in the comment. Okay, so we're gonna have to stop the video here because 
Now what we're gonna have to do is actually get the user ID and then we're gonna have to query the users node inside of our list adapter to get the username and we're also gonna have to do that to get the users profile image to display it in the comments section. So uh, yeah, I'll stop the video here and in the next one, that's what we'll do.